What up folks, it's Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this. A really cool animated little sidebar that's really great for displaying key pieces of information. Particularly useful if you're a YouTuber, maybe you're reviewing a product, you want to list some key specs. It's a really nice way to do it. That background is of course customizable, you can change it to be whatever colour you like. So, with all that out of the way, let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the edit tab and I've already got some footage set up on my timeline. It's currently on video track number one. Now the first thing we need to do is just change our background colour to the colour that we want our little pop-in to be. So all I'm going to do for this, I'm going to click on my footage on my timeline and I'm going to drag it up onto video track number two. And then open up the effects library, the toolbox, generators and then grab a solid colour and put it underneath your footage onto video track number one. We'll make that a little bit longer. And then give your footage a click and then just hit D on your keyboard to disable it. And then you can see the solid color so we can actually see what we're adjusting. Give it a click, open the inspector within this little color box here, give that a click. And then you've got a color picker so you can just change the color to whatever you want it to be and then click on OK. And then we can just click on our footage again, hit D to bring it back. And then using your playhead, you want to go to the point where you want this animation to begin. So I'm going to start mine at the two second mark. Give your footage a click, open up the inspector, and then make sure that you expand, transform, and cropping. All I'm going to do is click on this little diamond next to position, because I want a keyframe on there. And then I'm going to go to crop left and add a keyframe there as well. And then we're going to move our playhead forward about two seconds. I found that works really well for this sort of animation. So we're going to go with four seconds. And then at this point, we can change our position to get it where we want it. And then we can change our cropping to get that where we want it as well. So we're going to go with something like that. And if we just scroll our playhead back and then hit play, it'll look something like that. So everything will move over to the right hand side, it will do our cropping and that will reveal our solid colour underneath. So that's looking pretty good so far. If we want to move forward and we want to be able to reverse this process to get it back later in the video, just find the point where you want your animation to begin again and then repeat the same process. So we're going to just click to add a keyframe for position and click to add a keyframe for my crop. I'm at 12 seconds. And then going to move our playhead forward to 14 seconds or thereabouts, have a play with that as you wish. And then we're going to bring the crop down to zero and the position back down to zero as well. So now if we hit play on that at 12 seconds, it'll start moving back, get rid of the background like so. Now one other quick tip which I think really helps to sell this effect, open up the effects library, come down to the toolbox again, open up the open effects, scroll right down until you get to the stylize area grab drop shadow and then drop that onto your footage with the footage selected open up the inspector go to open effects and you'll have your drop shadow settings in here change the drop angle it'll be set to 37.5 by default move it up to about 140 180 and you'll start to see this drop shadow appearing now the drop shadow just makes it really obvious that your footage is above the background, it just really helps to sell the overall effect. So now if we just go back and we can hit play, our footage moves over, we've got a drop shadow, starts to look really nice. If we're not happy with the color, we can just go to solid color, use the picker again, change the color as we wish. And then we can just head into titles, grab text, put that on our timeline, sort of find the right place, we'll go about there. Enter our text, give it a bit of font, and then we can just use the positions here. We've got X and Y. I'm just going to drag that over to the left. And then we're just going to use the two little markers on the text. We're going to fade that in. And then if we hit play, that'll move over and our text will just fade in like so. If you want to add one final little piece of polish, just give your footage a click. Click this little icon in the bottom right hand corner and that'll open up your keyframe editor. Use the drop down in the top left hand corner. And you'll most likely see something like this where everything's ticked to highlight them all like so and then all again to make sure all the ticks are gone and then we just need to click on our cropping so i used crop left and you'll see something like this so you can see how abrupt these lines are the change of direction is really abrupt we can smooth that out if we just highlight them all in one big go and then click on this icon here that will just put an s curve in there which will just make the animation look that little bit smoother 
Now you don't actually need to do that for your positions because if I go to position X, it's a little bit hard to see here, but if I drag that up, you can see there's already an S curve going on with the positions. So it's just the cropping that you need to do that for. And with all that done, you're all sorted and good to go. Now, I hope that video was useful. As always, folks, if it was, thumbs up, comments and feedback, shove them down below for me. And if you're new here, you enjoy this video, you want to see more of this, plus some tech reviews and some other bits and bobs, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye.